Hello there. I'm Wendell and Davis, certified life, health, and weight loss coach, passionate about helping you get healthy results in your life. Okay. In the last video, we talked about sleep and like mastering some of those habits. And so for this video, I had the thought to share some of my struggles with sleep and leave you with some tips on what you can do to continue to work on your sleep. Because for some of us, it's an ongoing process. Okay. So then I thought, how can I make this video different? And I'm like, oh, you could go outside by the chickens because they're a great example. They go to bed when the sun sets and they wake up when the sun rises. They just go right there in their house, the, the red part, and they go on their little perch and there they are set for the night. So in my 40s, I started having trouble sleeping. I would just wake up during the night and not be able to fall back asleep. And that created more anxiety, more depression, more overwhelm, just that vicious cycle, especially at night where it's like, oh no, what if I don't get enough sleep tonight? And just that fear and it kind of perpetuated that cycle. I didn't know then what I know now. And so I'm thankful for the things I've gone through that have helped bring me to where I am today. And that's what I wanted to share with you, that I understand sleep struggles. Um, mine was more like that sleep anxiety. And it's my anxiety that was keeping me awake. And I was feeding it and creating more and more of it because of the fear. And so just learning to manage our stress is huge in how we sleep. I had a therapist tell me once um, that how we manage or how our day goes is how our night is going to go. So if our day is chaotic, it's going to affect our sleep. And so what can you do to manage your stress day by day? Because our world is full of stress, right? There are so many things happening. Everything it seems so fast paced. I got to hurry and do this to get on to the next thing. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And it, it is hard to, to slow down and take these deep breaths and do the self-care that we so desperately need. Alrighty. So what helped the most? Changing my narrative, learning the power of my thoughts. So now I don't focus on, oh no, what if I don't get enough sleep? Um, now it's just like, hmm, I figure things out. I don't know how, but somehow I get through the day. Um, and so that's helping plus to manage my stress, right? So learning to manage my stress during the day, taking those deep breaths is powerful, powerful throughout the day. And every night before I go to sleep, it is doing more deep breathing to set slow and steady, to calm the body down. So sometimes when my anxiety is up, then I definitely do the brain dumps where I get all those negative thoughts out, the overthinking, um, the anger, the frustration, whatever it was during the day that's affecting my anxiety, I got to get those thoughts out. Okay. That's, that's a powerful tool to help to do that. And then gratitude journal. So I do a gratitude journal at night and this has a domino effect of helping me see things through that positive light during the day. And then at night, I'm going to bed thinking about the things I'm grateful for instead of all the things that went wrong. Because all the things that went wrong, I already put in my brain dump. Yeah? Yeah. So the gratitude journal is a powerful tool that can help train the brain to look for the good and to focus on the positive. Also, another thing that has helped, like when my anxiety is high, or if I'm frustrated, or if I'm overthinking, because it is hard to turn our brain off, right? It is hard to turn off some thoughts that just are so persistent and won't stop bothering us. Then I do EFT, or Emotional Freedom Technique. You can actually Google videos on EFT for sleep, and that that helps, okay? So these are just some suggestions that that might help you with establishing a sleep routine that will help you get the sleep that you need. Also, I've learned to talk back. Talk back to that negative voice that, oh no, you didn't do this, or oh no, if you don't get enough sleep. Again, I've changed my sentences. So it's just like, if I don't get enough sleep, I don't know how, but I'll manage through the day. And that's helped me a lot, okay? So... 15 years of sleep and trying to figure it out. Yeah, every day I'm just learning more and more to figure out. For the past eight years, I've had hot flashes and I still do. 
And once I was reading a book, because I'm always trying to figure them out, okay? Like I've done a lot, but I never mind that to try to figure out why, why. <laughs> but I was reading a book and the doctor was saying how important sleep is. And that, yeah, the body needs consistent sleep. And it's not good if we're woken up during the night from hot flashes or stress. So here's what you can do to fix that. Well, I tried to do that and it didn't work. But I was also fixated on, oh, great, I'm not getting enough sleep. My body keeps waking up every two hours. And what that did was actually create more sleep problems. It created more hot flashes. So that was probably about six months ago when I was reading that book. And, and I started like writing down like all the hot flashes I was having. And then I'm like, oh, wow, we had no wonder, you know, and it just, I'm just telling you the stress of what I was doing made my problem worse. Okay. It made it, it increased my hot flashes and I wasn't falling back asleep as good because my brain was so like, great. Now you're going to be more tired. Now you're not, now you're not getting the sleep that you need. And so I'm like, no, ugh. now we're just back to, you know what? I don't know how, but I manage, I get through the day and yes, I get woken up every couple hours, um, but I fall back asleep and it's not a problem. So that's just what my body's doing right now. Just learning to nurture and care for it where I am. That's what I do. Yeah. So just sharing those things with you that sometimes we're a hot mess and everything's figure outable. It's okay. Right? So um, wherever you are in your journey, never give up. Keep trying to figure it out, right? Alrighty. So be sure and like and subscribe and share these videos with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. You got this, my friends. Bye.